The demand for screen recording tools has skyrocketed since work from home became commonplace. In this video, I'm going to show you the ultimate screen recording tool, and guess what? It's free. Free as in beer, free as in speech, free as in my Saturday nights in high school. I'm talking about Screenity. Here it is over on the Chrome Web Store. This is a Chrome extension, so you'll need to be a Chrome user to take advantage of it. It is open source, so you can download the source code and compile it if you're security minded and you're saying, wait a minute, free screen recording? Yeah, that sounds like a great way to get hacked. You can go ahead and download it and compile it yourself and thumb through it and make sure everything is up to your standards. This is from Alyssa X, who has a track record of creating a lot of different software products. This is her website, alyssax.com. Go ahead and check that out if you want. But you know what? I've already got the Chrome extension installed. Here is the Profitable Tools website. Let's go ahead and do a screen recording. Here is the icon for Screenity. I'm going to click on this and I can see my options. I can record this tab only so I can hide all of the other tabs that I've got open. I can record my entire desktop. So if I'm jumping between different applications, I'd want to choose this. Or if I just want to make a video message and send it to somebody, I can choose camera only. Now, it's also important to note that if you're the type of person who does not want to be on camera, you can, of course, disable the camera altogether and just record your screen. All right, right now I've got it set to use my uh, USB interface for the microphone. One really innovative feature, I think, is right here called Push to Talk. The idea with this is very similar to that of a recording studio. If you've ever seen a movie of musicians recording their famous hit song or something like that, you'll know that there's usually a person in uh, front of a big desk in one room. Uh, and there's a window between the two of them and they can press a button on the desk and then talk to the performers in the other room. That's kind of the idea here with push to talk. The way I see it working is, let's say you're in a work from home environment in a home office or maybe just working right out of your bedroom and you've got people coming and going, kids making noises, but you still need to make a screen recording. Well, with this option, your microphone will be muted unless you press control M. As soon as you press it, then you'll be able to to say something, let go of those keys, and you'll be able to navigate throughout the website to find the next part that you need to bring up. So I think that's a really, really thoughtful uh, feature to add in in these work from home times where people are often working in unconventional environments. All right, you can see we have a three second countdown timer. That's just fine by me. Let's go ahead and start recording. All right, there I am up in the upper left hand corner. Now I will say that I am also recording this screen with another screen recording software. So I'm not sure if my video will be in sync or not. Uh, if it's not, that's not Screenity's fault. That's probably my screen recording software uh, making there be a little bit of an issue. So we'll see how that looks in post-production, I guess. Now there are some options here. You've seen me move around my little bubble. I can also make myself bigger very, very big uh, Godzilla size there. All right. Or I can X myself out if I want it to be off the screen altogether. If I want to come back, I can just press this camera button right over here. And there I am. Let's go ahead and make myself a little bit more manageable. Now let's go ahead and take a look at some of the options inside of Screenity. Let's start off with this pointer right here. These are our pointer options. The first one is to highlight clicks. So if I click somewhere, you'll see this red dot show up and kind of lets the user know who's watching the video. Oh, that's where they clicked. All right, great. That's how I get that result. The next option over is to highlight the cursor. This dims the rest of the screen and lets me follow along uh, with where the pointer is going on the screen. It's very good if you want to give someone a tutorial on how to go from one point on your website to another. You can click around with this on. I'm going to go ahead and turn both of these off for now. The last option over here is to hide the pointer altogether. Now you won't see this in the video as I'm recording it. You'll still see the pointer. Uh, and that's because, of course, I'm not showing you the video that Screenity is making. I'm recording that separately. If we were to watch the Screenity video, you'd just see the, the mouse completely gone and I'd be able to, to move throughout the, the website without the pointer showing. Next up is the microphone. And of course, this is muted right now. I can press Control M and you'll see that it lights up blue to show that it is on. So that's because I'm using that push to talk feature. Uh, now, that is a really, really handy feature, but don't forget that you have it on or you could have to do your video a second time. The last button over here is to enable or disable system audio. So if you're trying to play back a video and comments on it, you can have system audio on. Otherwise, you might want to think about turning this off so you don't get any autoplay videos when you load up a web page. If someone bursts into the room or you're about to have a sneezing attack, you can press the pause button right over here. You got three options. You can go right back to your recording by pressing the play button or you can delete the video and start 
start over. When you're all done, you can hit this check mark and you'll be taken to the edit your recording screen. Now, you have three options from the edit your recording screen. You can export as WebM, MP4, or GIF. You also have the ability to trim the video, either change the start and end point or remove a part of the video by choosing a start and end point here. I did find both the trim video and remove part of the video features to be pretty buggy. Sometimes after I'd make a trim, the video itself would just simply be blurry. So I do recommend trying this out on your system with a short video, make sure it works the way that you want. Uh, but if you do make the change and it doesn't work out, you can always reset the changes and go back to the initial recording. When you're done, you can either download the finished file or export to your Google Drive, and then you can share with whoever you need to send this to. This is not a SaaS platform. It's not hosted. If you look up in the URL bar, you'll see that it's just kind of a string of weird characters. That's because it's not on the internet. It's on your computer, which is actually a really good thing. So that's it. That's Screenity. I will link to the Chrome Web Store down below in the description. If you want to know about more tools like this, make sure you do two things. First, subscribe to this channel. And second, head over to our Facebook group and join. It's completely free. And it's where I found out about this tool so I can make this video for you guys. All right, that's going to do it for this video. I will see you in the next one.